Elijah and Elisha went to the Jordan River. When they got there, Elijah rolled up his cloak and struck the water. Immediately the waters parted, and the two men walked across the river on dry ground. Once on the other side, Elijah said, What do you want me to do for you before I'm taken away? Please, I want a double portion of your spirit. What? Your your request is difficult. But you'll have it if you see me being taken from you. If not, you won't get it. As he continued on, suddenly a chariot of fire with horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. Then Elijah was taken up into the heaven in a whirlwind and was gone. Elisha saw it all. He ripped his clothes and yelled, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel! He then saw Elijah's cloak, which fell when the prophet went up into the air. Elisha walked over and picked it up. He turned and went back and stood on the banks of the Jordan River. He lifted the cloak high in the air and struck the water. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? The waters parted, and he walked across on dry ground. Fifty prophets saw all of this. They said, The spirit of Elijah lives in Elisha. From that day on, they honored him as their new leader. Who trust in Jesus Christ to forgive our sins? and sincerely want to follow Him, the Bible says you now have eternal life. To commit to Jesus Christ as a personal Savior and Lord means to obey and depend on Him in everything you do. The Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 23, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. And in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Do you want to receive Jesus Christ into your life now? If you do, I would like to invite you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, I confess I am a sinner. I want to trust you as my Savior and obey you as my Lord. Please forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. Thank you for providing the way back to God. Amen. If you sincerely believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and have prayed to ask Him into your life, you are now a Christian.